rebuilding a memorial for Michael Brown after it went up in flames, leaving them heartbroken and wondering how the fire started. A memorial near a concrete post for 18-year-old Michael Brown went up in flames early this morning, much to the dismay of residents at Canfield Green Apartments and protesters. It's a very disrespectful to his mom, to his dad, and to him. It's not clear how the fire near another memorial in the middle of the street on Canfield Drive started. However, some residents believe an arsonist is responsible. It was clean and it was it was set with gasoline because a lot of that stuff was, was pretty wet. It was water on a lot of that stuff from the morning dew and what have you. There was no candles lit. So. A Ferguson police sergeant tried unsuccessfully to put out the fire with an extinguisher before firefighters were called. Some residents complained there were several officers on the scene, but only one tried to help, and no one investigated. When Ferguson Fire Department showed up on scene, they came, they put the fire out, and then after the fire was put out, uh, they got back in the fire truck and they left, and the police followed them. There was no investigation to see how this fire was started. Now a group called Canfield Watchmen are giving residents body cameras and holding classes to teach them how to watch the police. It's three-part class educating about their rights, second part educating them about cop watching, and third educating them on how the cameras actually use. By mid-morning, residents and members of the community had brought more stuffed animals and flowers to rebuild the memorial in honor of Brown. When they bring the, the flowers and everything, it's love. We have love. That Ferguson Police Chief Tom Jackson released a statement saying police did everything possible to put out the fire. He says some squad cars have fire extinguishers and some don't. He also says an investigation to determine how the fire started is underway and anyone with information or videotape is urged to contact police. So Shirley, what was... It was pretty intense for a while. I can tell you there was at least one faction that was trying to prevent some reporters and photographers from getting anywhere near the scene at all. And then when Missouri Highway Patrol Captain Ron Johnson arrived with two pastors, the crowd booed them and was even spitting at them. And after a failed attempt, to actually reason with the crowd, they got in the cars and they left. So it was pretty tense out there for a while. Yeah, uh, sounds like it. Even even booing Ron Captain Johnson. Captain Johnson, yes. Uh, all right. Thank you, Shirley.